they have no idea what they've done. The channel is now officially sponsored by Micro Center. And let me tell you, I talked to them, they have no idea what they just paid for. I'm about to, I'm about to build a PC inside of a freaking yam and like shoot it to the moon. I'm gonna build a PC inside of a toilet. I'm gonna build a piece of toilet PC. Hands down, biggest budget we've ever had. It's about to go wild out here. And the thing is, they sponsor the channel, but I can genuinely say that they have some of the most knowledgeable and friendly staff of any store, not just like tech stores. So I went in there, I shot a video. People that didn't even know who I was, they were so friendly and also knew what they were talking about. And right now they have an exclusive thing going on where if you go visit, if you're a new customer, then they'll give you a free 240 gigabyte SSD, which is, that's like a perfect OS drive. That's like SSD, Windows running fast. You know what I'm saying? And this setup you see here, that is not the world's cleanest setup. That's garbage. See the wires everywhere? So many wires. And there's like this giant fridge PC. Don't build one of those. Uh, they're heavy. When I was like 13, 14 years old, I thought it was really funny to prop the mustard up in the refrigerator in such a way that when the next person opened the refrigerator door, the mustard would fall out on them and then hit the ground. And uh, well, I just thought it was funny. <laughs> what a turd kid, right? I still got it. <laughs> now, that same kid, totally undeservingly, had what at the time was the pinnacle of setups, or at least so I thought, right? So I had a PS3, Xbox 360, both in this like entertainment center thing that I got a garage sale for like 15, 20 bucks, and then a 720p sharp TV. And I still remember the dude at the store was like, no, your eyes scientifically cannot tell the difference between 720p and 1080p at 32 inches. I believed him and every game looked like Minecraft, baby. <laughs> at the time I couldn't tell the difference, but now it's like 720p bro, I can tell you immediately. My setup has come a long way though. I have moved very frequently. I moved like almost once a year the past five years. So I, I continually have set up my YouTube setup and it's looked really bad almost every time. But what I've got from that is a lot of learning. I have computer setup wisdom. And so let me impart to you some of that wisdom by showing you this setup, which is like a setup tour. I've never actually done a setup tour. I'll show you the process of building it start to finish sponsored by Micro Center. First things first, we need to tear down the old setup. Now the room has a ton of reverb. Uh Mogus Bobby. So we're starting by setting up the room's acoustics. For acoustics, I think those those little like uh, one inch Amazon things that everyone has, I think those look like trash. So what I've got is this stuff. It's probably not as effective per square foot, but if you put it over every single surface, I think it's gonna do enough diffusion. What it is, it's called 3D wallpaper. It's like padded stuff. It's made for children's bedrooms, you know, cause they like run under the walls and stuff. So it's perfect for me. This is me taking multiple days to perfectly apply the 3D brick wallpaper. Now this is me tearing it down because they were discolored and ugly. So instead I went with these PVC panels that look much better and they're not like acoustic foam or anything, but they will disperse the audio because it's not just perfectly flat like the walls. It took much longer and involved the tile saw. All of this seems unsafe. So in theory that fits perfectly and uh, now I have a table saw. <laughs> but it was worth dude, it looks great. Now this room has these like beveled edges cause it's an upstairs, which is kind of worst case scenario for acoustics. So on those beveled edges, I put these polyester panels, not the little crappy panels that look like eggshell or whatever. These are like compressed polyester, which which do, I'd say like a, like a medium bit more than those little panels. Then I added a giant rug with mass loaded vinyl under it because directly beneath me is the master bedroom. Sometimes my wife's in there reading or something and well, I'm loud. <laughs> I'm obnoxious. <laughs> and I have actual acoustic panels, dude. If you add together every single time I've spent money on those crappy little one inch Amazon acoustic foam, I could have bought 50 of these. And these big circular cloud foam panel things that I've suspended from the ceiling right where the lights are so that they'll be backlit because the direct light was way too bright and it doesn't look good for videos, but backlit looks very mwah. And that brings us to lighting. Before I did those cloud foam panel things over the lights, I actually replaced the can lights with smart bulb can lights that retrofit in the exact same hole. Oh, nice. 
Oh. And I had also installed a molding right beneath those polyester panels on the room bevel. So it will illuminate the accent wall. Dude, I'm sounding like TLC out here, man. Freaking house flippers or something. Then I did like real electrician stuff and didn't die. Installed some track lighting. Had to blur some of this because I got really hot. Had to take my pants off. But I installed track lighting. That's the main point that I'm talking about. Now, with all that done, it was looking sweet. Really clean acoustics, clean lighting. Here's the thing though, visible wires and PCs sitting on your desk, dude, I can't, people send me set up pictures and it's like the PC on the desk. How do you move your arm to play the game? It is gross, ick. And look, I'm down with desk mounting stuff, but the thing is, it's gonna wobble just a tiny bit, man. I planned out where I was going to wall mount everything so to keep it off my desk, keep it off the floor, just keep it kind of out of the way, but where you can still see it because it looks cool. I ran all the wires through the walls so there's no visible wires anywhere and all that was left was the pc build So just about everything that you see was provided by Micro Center or is available at Micro Center just because of how ridiculously large their inventory is. That is a heavy man. And this is also co-sponsored by AMD who so graciously offered me a Liquid Devil 6900 XT. Everyone I know is gaming at 1440p and technically this card has the highest FPS right now uh, for most games in 1440p. So nice, didn't realize that. And also I didn't realize it's actually been years since I could just build a PC exactly the way I want it without any time constraints or, you know, being a toaster or something weird. And man, did I enjoy it. It has some real 3 a.m. vibes to it, and it's chunky. Honestly, this is somewhat terrifying. That piece, that's like 100 pounds. It was like 100 pounds, and I just slapped it on the wall for a mount that's rated for 100 pounds, but still, man. And it was coming together. Oh, crap. I haven't actually tested the PC. For the first test, power on. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I've got to take it off the wall. No, dude. No, bruh. So I took it down. Uh. Oh. Uh. Test your computer before you wall mount it. And after like two hours of troubleshooting, I barely mustered the strength to get it back up there. <laughs> did it. Babe, say something. You did it, babe. You helped me, right? It's pretty. And then all I needed was a chair, man. Mavic sent me their model M7 chair. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, I've never had a chair that doesn't suck. If I could accumulate all the money I spent on chairs that have broken, I'd have like probably a thousand bucks. I don't know if this chair is gonna stand the test of time, but my first impressions are that it's super comfy, adjustable, unlike any chair I've ever had before. Oh, ah, I've never had one that does that. And it's big, I'm a big dude. Some chairs out here, they're like $2,000 and made for a tiny person. So anyway, I will be giving an update on this chair in like six months or so though, just to see if it did hold the test of time. But that being said, $100 Amazon keyboard, it is what it is. It was all finished. Just like the little mustard bamboozler that I once was, I definitely don't deserve such a sweet setup. And don't argue with me, don't be weird. Whether you're someone who's been subscribed for a while or someone who just happened to find this video, thank you for watching and being here because I couldn't do this if you didn't watch. And so really it's not like I'm doing anything, it's you watching. You watching, you did it, man. And I'll say it again, I'd say this even if they didn't sponsor the channel, I highly recommend Micro Center for all your PC building needs. If you're a new customer, check out that link in the description. But I don't know, what do you think? Is this the world's cleanest gaming setup? All right, and we're back. We're installing Desktop Goose. Zoo. Oh, there he is, yes! Hold on, how many geese can I open? He's pulling something in. They're bringing their friends.